don't know how to start this video, so I'm just gonna start talking. I hope everyone out there is doing well and staying safe in this new way of life we call COVID-19. I'm just coming with a quick bag video. I have had the chance to acquire a bucket list item bag for me. And that is the GORUCK radio. It is one of the discontinued GORUCK bags. It is one of the few everyday carry backpacks GORUCK has made. Uh, this was created as the alternate to the GR1. The radio started production around 2012 into 2013. They stopped production and brought it back in 2018. This bag is between 21 and 24 liters. I personally tend to think it falls along the 24 liter end. It definitely holds more than some of my 19 or 20 liter backpacks. This bag is made from a thousand D Cordura. And like all the GORUCK backpacks, it has the slanted front flat pocket and the line of Molly at the bottom. I did get a chance to use this bag for a little while before New York and New Jersey completely shut down as I still had to go to work. So with that in mind and the fact that I kind of wore it around the house so I could make this video, I have fallen in love with this bag and am so not disappointed with it. To just go through it really quickly, I promise this isn't going to be a long video. Up front we have, of course, the signature Gora Velcro. I currently have my red, black, and green American flag. Um, inside the front pocket, I have a couple snacks. A packet of tea and two epic bars I believe yeah salmon and where's the other one up oh, right here bison <laughs> also I keep my topo micro pouch this just has you know band-aids tweezers nail clippers hauls tampons Tylenol just those things any girl might need on a given day that you want to make sure you always have on you. The other exterior pocket on this bag is the laptop sleeve. Like I said, this is an EDC and it was designed as an EDC. So it does have a laptop pocket. Like all girl look bags, to access it you have to flip <laughs> the straps back. I'm lucky enough where I don't need to use this as a laptop pocket i actually have a back frame that evenly distributes the weight of the bag the bag empty is already close to three pounds so if you're going away for a weekend or if you are using it for your everyday needs gym clothes going to work carrying your lunch it does get weighed down a bit but by having the frame in the back you almost don't feel it at all. I absolutely love it and I couldn't see me using this bag without it, quite honestly. So, opening the bag. First, we have the covered pocket with the tan silent zipper pull with the GORUCK label, which says Go, GORUCK Radio Ruck built in the USA inside this pocket. I actually use this as my quick access wallet, keys, chapstick. My AirPods are in here. I actually keep a stash of other patches <laughs> along the front of it um, just in case I get bored and want to switch out the personality of my bag. Um, but yeah, this I use as my quick access pocket. What I do is the zippers on the front, I try and keep them anywhere towards the top. So on the go, if I need to open it, grab what I need and close it back up. The lower mesh pocket has my electronics pouch. 
I have lost a lot of electronics to rainy days and not having an umbrella and my electronics battery packs cords just getting wet and destroyed. Um, about a year ago, I bought this Magpul pouch. It's not waterproof, nothing is waterproof, but it is super water resistant. All my electronics that I carry, no matter what bag I use, I keep it in this pouch. I will leave the link to Magpul. I think I bought it on Amazon. So I will leave a link to their Amazon page in the description below. If you're wondering what I have in here, uh, my anchor battery pack, my anchor two prong wall plug-in, a micro USB, an extra pair of headphones, the little iPhone white ones, um, a micro USB-C adapter that's in here too, and my foldable stand for my iPhone and for my iPad. Inside the main compartment, of course, I have a book. This is She Would Be King by Way Too More. I'm sorry, I probably destroyed your name. This is a book that takes place during the transatlantic slave trade. It is a fictional sci-fi book. Three main characters, one who's in Africa, one who is in the colonial United States in the South who is enslaved, and the last is actually enslaved in Jamaica. Um, and by the end of the book, they all end up in continental Africa. It is a great read. They all have like superpowers. <laughs> it's, I really, really recommend this book. I will leave a link to the Goodreads page in the description below. So I promise this is not a brown paper bag. It's actually a packing cube. Um, this is a packing cube I generally take with me when I stay at my boyfriend's house. So it has a weekend, maybe a third or fourth day's worth of clothes. Inside that packing cube, if you want to know, uh, there are pants, tops, uh, underwear, socks, just your normal change of clothes for when you're spending a weekend away. At the bottom, my small, was this low pro, uh, my low pro camera pouch. I actually got a Fuji X-T20 for my birthday in February. I love that camera. I love the aesthetic of it. Uh, and I also have two lenses in here with I think a second battery. I have my 32 ounce Hydro Flask bottle with a bit of water left inside. The last loose item, my Ray-Ban sunglasses. If you guys can see the back of the bag, there are two lines of molly at the top and this elastic pocket that I actually keep my 11 inch iPad Pro. And there you have it. Like I said, I was trying to make this video as quick and short as possible, but I'm so excited about this bag and I really wanted to share it with you guys. This bag holds so much without being bulky. Even on the side, it has a relatively, you know, low profile. The back brace in the back is amazing and makes carrying this bag super light. The only thing I didn't talk about were actually the shoulder straps. They tend to make female bags and male bags. And the only real difference is the length of the bag and the width and shape of the backpack straps. And even with these thick, dense, heavy backpack straps, it's still super comfortable. And I think it just says so much about the construction that GORUCK has, that this is a eight year old bag and is still super sturdy, altogether well built and the best thing about GORUCK is these bags have lifetime warranties with their SCARS program. I can't give enough praises about how much I 
love and have learned to love this bag. I didn't go through everything in super detail, trying to be quick. I hope you guys, again, are staying super safe and finding fun, entertaining, and enlightening ways of keeping yourself occupied in this new COVID-19 life that we're all living. If you like this video, give me a big thumbs up. And if you want to follow me to see when I post new ones, click subscribe. But other than that, I really hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye.